And welcome back to the third last episode of the whole series of Sinfo Gear. Wow, the last season gone by fast. Then again, I did this twice as fast than normally I do series. It's kind of because of me wanting to line up schedules with some shows. Like, uh, I just like two two shows to start off the same day or same week, and two shows to end the same week or same thing. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that makes it a bit faster than usual. Then again, Sivki has been getting that treatment from me. I've I've released. An episode a day for Sinful Gear GX, was it? I'm pretty sure. And that wasn't that bad. I had to watch the last six in one sitting, but it wasn't that bad. God damn, uh, because compared to Auto Master, it wasn't that long. <laughs> I think pretty sure it was, it was Auto Master. That, wait, was Auto Master on screen? Yes. Plus, ah, fuck it. It's been running. So, uh, the girls has been transported to the lunar base. <laughs> Yay, f setting up the final stage for this fight, aren't we? And I guess that's this gonna be the first time Hibiki confronts Miku again after a while. And we're gonna get the backstory of the previous owner of the Bam race. And, well, it looks like... The enemy of Shema, Shemha. So, I guess, with that all said, let's begin this episode of Senki Sesa Sinful Gear. A, no, no, not a X, X, V, in 3, 2, 1, go! Da, da. Oh, so immediately starting off with this, okay? It's a fucking flashback for Shamha and the previous owner of the Vambrace. Is this Earth? Oh no, the Vambrace is Shamha's, okay. I guess that makes sense, but... I, th I guess they both have their own type of Vambraces. What did you do to him? It look doesn't look like you. Oh, that. You have to cut off your arm. Yep. Yeah, no shot. Just losing your arm. Just it's nothing compared to losing your whole fucking life. For him or for you guys, it's probably easier to fucking regrow or make an artificial arm. Put your soul into the vamp. Enki, okay, that's your name. So, are you gonna put your soul into the vamp race? Is that what it means? Why did you spill blood right over the womb? Is there a reason for that? There. Feeny hasn't been... Why were you the one who was having that dream? I know you were supposed to be Venus vessel, but you actually didn't turn out to be Venus vessel. Hmm. Okay. Or is it just Maria finally fulfilling her role as Venus Vessel? F vessel. Yeah, live life now. Yeah, we live freely. Live, live your life now. Yeah, we live freely. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> and uh, well, back. It's the mind. Selfishly, chase it. So I try. Live, live in life now. Let me live freely. <laughs> oh no, <I'm> right. <laughs> oh, take it to I'm gonna guess this is gonna be the last what one of the last times we're gonna see the opening, isn't it? It's not gonna show up in episode twelve and thirteen. Live a life now, can we live really? That was the shittiest. Yeah, they're on the moon. You might take them back. Actually, wasn't it daytime when they were teleported? Does that mean that they teleported literally to the other half of the world? And further beyond. Yeah? Still feeling bad? No, I'm shy to care about you. Maybe it's the courage or stupidity. It's very fun light. Yeah. Why do you look a child in that one? Goddamn pose. Ah, I see, uh, your. Yeah. Her gear is like part of Angry something, isn't it? Then again, Angry's braces weren't silver. So we all need to get them thing. Hey, you only used one. What? How does that mean? The other one broke. Or I guess you maybe fell on it. No, oh, no more use of butt plugs. Okay. I'm not sure you brought enemies into the goddamn territory. They still see you guys as intruders? I thought maybe somehow they programmed. Wait, is Shamha even here? If she is here, why didn't they she program Vanessa, Millard, and Elsa to be not intruders? Well, you have to fight now. Now the soundness I'll go near try. How nice it's been since we've seen this transformation. The most straightforward one. Well, according to uh, the strange move just for the lewdness. I like guess not. Like, there's almost nothing lewd about this transformation. Like, 
Only the butt shot is there. That's uh, everything. The same, it's the same with uh, Maria's, but every, uh, apart from them, a lot of them have lewd parts. Why? I'm still hanging up on that, even though we're on episode 11. Ah, oh, they also transformed? No, they just haven't transformed. Oh. Maybe they're in shelter too. Also, how do you expect the goddamn communication devices to work. I guess it could go through to satellite, but if it was Earth only, it wouldn't really work. Also, this facility could protect them from radio waves. Oh, so she's not here, okay. So what the fuck is that? What? Why? Or them, but is this really needed to break this curse of battle? You guys understand each other, and you guys haven't been purified yet from the curses of battle. I don't think those are question marks for those lyrics. More acceleration. Like, a lot more. Oh, so made the door. <laughs> Muscle Galaxy. How? Do you know how big Earth is? Ah, Miku's in here, so there. Ah, black bondage. Great. Tricked? No. <laughs> oh, Miku. Sorry, me future. It's not me, right? Like, then again, Japan has um, quite a lot of words for one thing. Okay, how do you not know that this is this is not the last room? Like, yeah, it may look like a impressive door that may be the a dead end, but still. I feel like if anybody who has the power to transform would, without the time limits, until like, they are too hurt, would definitely transform this situation. Because you don't know who will ambush you. Like, if you get in an unknown situation, unknown place, outside of your, outside of your fucking planet, just transform, just to be sure. Yes, her dreams. Is this the Ringo thing? Oh no. Why are you able to adapt? Ah, so, um... An alter ego.
network jammer. So he started the curse of Balao. But he doesn't call it a curse, he calls it a jammer. I have a bad feeling for turning that off, since if it doesn't jam the thing that it's jamming right now, what the fuck could be... It's definitely protecting the Earth from something. Yeah, no shot. Well, when you guys were on Earth, it uh, wasn't reactive. So we're just like... The human instrumental project, but it's info gear. Everyone is connected by together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that somehow felt like a very casual mention of uh, she waged war on ours. Yeah, and the Vambrace. And the Jam curse of Babel is to get them stop her. Is to goddamn seal that bitch up. Sure. Come on, sing! There we go. <coughs> I was prepared for that sentence. They all, actually not, they all end with Tron. Does that mean anything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, just guess this song is calling back to uh, uh, one of the seasons at least. It's one of my arcs. You just keep dividing us, watch it. You know, they did this exactly the opposite that you're striving for. 
at the beginning at least. Yep. <laughs> Just confirm yourself even more and more that you're a monster. They just did it. People, they just called blindsided. The fuck is this world? The fuck was that fi final attack like move that we have never seen before? A clone? Why are you strip of more clove? Wait, shouldn't you be still? They have clothing on, since they are- Why right the- What? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Her clothing isn't fucking made out of her bat wings, is it? That- So, her losing her clothing wouldn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, that one that ended up with a terror attack by you. Remember that too. <laughs> Mary, you were the one who made attacking goddamn tuba sass concerts a goddamn trend. <laughs> Oh god. Good, thanks. I don't think that, I don't think that how drills work. Yeah, I don't think you're using a drill right. Ah, ignition. Wait, that's amalgam, not ignite mode. Why do you say ignition? I don't like Maria's weapon. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, she would. She she should have gotten a gauntlet, but not in, so, not something like this. That I, I thought it was more of a maybe a gauntlet like uh, the boosted gear from the uh, high school DXC instead of the whole fucking arm that looks stupid. And impractical. Since it's so thick. Yes. That was a little baby malark. Ah, great. Over around the world. Yeah? Ah, come on, don't make Lady Liberty die. <sighs> ah. A Blood Earth. It sure has. But. Hmm, uh, Shama still can't come back in her original state. At least until maybe she fucking finds the sequence inside of uh, Miku. But, yeah. <sighs> I guess the sequence already found. She already found the sequence since she did get reincarnated in Miku already. So yeah, mm. guess the sequence uh, does not change appearance. Maybe I'm not sure. So we got the backstory on Shema. She's an architect that created Earth to use his fucking supercomputer. 
Or at least humanity as supercomputer. <sighs> so good. Just got Matrix at the beginning. Then Henry was Neo and separated us supposedly from the Matrix. No, no, separated from us from the Matrix by uh, building the jammer. Make it the curse Babel. Ballo. I don't think they got. <laughs> Wait, actually, question. Actually, no, I think I know the question. I know the answer to why the hell would you build individual humans as a supercomputer? But then again, why build humans as a goddamn supercomputer anyways? We are stupid as fuck. I don't think Malark's chibi form really fits. In any of those in that next episode. Climax on the Vagal Grease. Ah, another trio fucking disappearing. I see. The final <laughs> the final amalgam form. Get I'm gonna guess that's the X Drive X. X Drive X X Amalgam. A bummer that we don't have a Ignite module also. I feel like that would be a, a good or yeah. I feel like that would be a, kind of fun to see what, what kind of a design you could get from the gold style of Amalgam, the white Valkyrie or Norse Angel style with the X-Drive and the dark Blood red and black from uh, the Ignite module. Then again, X Drive overrides most of uh, most of those. Probably not amalgam, but still, still overrides quite a lot of colors. So yeah, hmm. a lot of backstory from and for Henry and uh, Shemha. Still don't know exact the exact relationship between. Fini and Henry, but I'm gonna guess that Fini was also an architect. Or maybe it's just maybe uh Fini was an human who has an ancient human who fell in love with Henry or Henry fell in love with her. And things happened. It could be one of those two. I'm not so sure. I I think I it's more towards Fini is actually just an architect that was close to Henry. And wait a second. I just had a thought. Is Henry saying sorry to Fini because he knows he is trapping Fini on Earth? Just like what Shemha? What happened to Shemha? Huh. I guess that makes the goals of Shamha and Fini to uh, kind of uh, like destroying the Curse of Babel make sense, I guess. But what? How the hell did Fini be able to reincarnate? Did, was she reincarnated the same at the same way as in Shamha? But it can be because it, couldn't the jammer also? Wouldn't the jammer also jam that? Like actually, but make make it the Curse of Babel now an an architect thing that jams the connection between humans. How, like f almost fully or quite a lot? How did Fine reincarnate from one body to another? Like, how is that actually possible? Should I not think about it, or should I think about it? I was talk about Fine and the first season. Or I was I talking first? Ah, fuck it. Talk about first season. Yeah, this plot does definitely uh, feels like the first season, but with a lot better or more more climactic storytelling and more climatic fights, more important fights also. So yeah, I guess that's they're harkening back to the first season since there's nothing really much to harken back to since it was just a ground layer. For every season afterwards, which was supposed to be the ending. 
So, yeah. Mm. <sighs> Next episode's gonna be fun to see. I'm. I really want to see those uh, this season's X Drive or Ultimate Amalgam X Drive designs. Ah, that's gonna be good, probably. It wasn't. It, it was already a fucking step up with uh, with uh, Tsubasa not hacking, having goddamn sword feet. What the fuck was that season thinking of giving her that? <laughs> like, what's the practicality of that? You, she doesn't need to have that unless she does a goddamn rider kick or something similar. <sighs> Fucking hell. So yeah, we're coming to the climax of the Valkyries. Don't take it the wrong way. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. For this episode of Sing Sessel Sinful Gear XV. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!